Male privilege is real. Motherfucker, there ain't no male privilege. It's not lost on me how many more men are in academia and in higher education. Women are called more often to put their careers on hold um, in order to have children or for whatever other reasons. That's just kind of the way I see That is life. That ain't got nothing to do with male privilege or anything. That's fucking life. Unfortunately, women are the ones that bear children and that. So what the fuck? Like... I see it manifesting most in my life is just seeing how hard it is to be an intellectual woman um, in academia. My name is Faith and I am not a feminist. I am a strong woman and I was raised by strong women, but I cannot get behind a few of the core ideals of what it often means to be a feminist, so I do not identify as one. My mother is a teacher. She has her master, she has years and years of experience, and yet her place within the school, her place within, um, as far as like authority over students, is not the same as a man. And I think that's an inequality that um, I've just been shown from my mother who... No, that is a fucking characteristic, yeah? Let me tell you something right now, yeah? I've had female teachers in school that nobody would fucking play with. I remember the head teacher of my school, the head teacher of my secondary school, Winchmore School, Miss Mansbridge. No one would fuck with Miss Mansbridge. Uh, there was one teacher in my primary school called Miss Chowdhury. She was Asian. She was all right looking still. Who else? I've had a few, um, my, my Taekwondo instructor, Master Tessa. No one played with these women. Do you know why? Because they were hard iron, iron fist rulers, blood. It's got nothing to do with your fucking gender. There's plenty of male teachers that the students will walk all over. And there's plenty of female teachers that the students won't play with, blood. It's got nothing to do with your gender. Yeah, maybe there might be a slight chance that the students will test the female teacher. But you know what? If the female teachers are about this, if they're on job, yeah? Yeah, you will test once. You ain't going to test again, blood. Because you're going to harass, can't feel some pain and embarrassment, yeah? So it ain't got nothing to do with your gender. It's whether you're a soft person or not. I remember in my Taekwondo class, my Taekwondo instructor, Master Tessa, she was about a five foot four, slim build. She was not a big, intimidating person. I mean, she had the whole fucking class on smash. I remember there was grown ass men in the class, 30 years old, used to put up their hand and ask if they can go fucking toilet blood. Got nothing to do with uh, your, 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 your gender or anything like that. I never see anyone run their mouth to my Taekwondo instructor. I never see nobody run their mouth to Miss Mansbridge or the woman in my uh, primary school, Miss Chowdhury. Because they were tough characters. It's got nothing to do with your gender. It's about you as a person. There's plenty of male teachers that get ran over like pussyos. Comes home and says, you know, I just had the worst day at work because I was uncomfortable the entire time. Mm -hmm. Or I had a strange experience with a male student who just like would not listen to a word I said. It wasn't connecting. It wasn't until I brought in the vice principal who was male or mm -hmm. another teacher who was male that things could be kind of squashed and covered. Just growing up, I would say that overall our, our school systems are more geared towards women. There's more female teachers, and that's how our, our children are raised. You know, the, the things that you were alluding to, your mom has to deal with those difficulties that a man would not have to deal with. Men have to deal with a lot of difficulties that most women wouldn't have to deal with. We do benefit from certain privileges, but so do women. I think you considered yeah, it a definitely. privilege that women... That w women definitely have certain privileges in that, yeah? You ever heard of ladies go free night at the clubs and that? I'd never heard of uh, men go free at the club and them things there. Was it fucking Skepta? Made that too many men, too many men. Yeah. Yeah, too many fucking men in the club. Yeah, that's why women are allowed to get in for free, blood. There are more women in the teaching profession, but you should also consider that other options weren't necessarily or historically available to women because they were considered to be more nurturing. A lot of women were pushed into that field. Still, women are choosing these majors and choosing their region of study, whereas, whereas men are tending to choose higher paying majors. They're choosing more to go into STEM fields and such like that and reaping the financial benefits, while women are also reaping their own happiness benefits of going into a field that they enjoy.
If I were born the opposite sex, my life would be easier. Blood, life is gonna, life is what you fucking make it. Regardless of your sex, it don't matter. Yeah, if you're gonna put the fucking work in, you're gonna be something. And if you don't put the work in, you're gonna be nothing. You're gonna be a bum. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with your fucking gender and that. Yeah, some genders and that might have a slight advantage and that, but a slight advantage or a slight disadvantage, it don't really make no fucking difference yeah, in the grand scheme of things. I started to walk over just thinking inherently the privileges that men in the society have and how they're able... But what about the privileges that women have in society? See, people always think about what other people have got instead of what they fucking got, blood. This is the problem with people in general, irrespective of male and female and that. People always thinking about, oh, yeah, man, that guy, man, he's got a nice car and, 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 and a nice house and that. But, blood, he ain't got no fucking girl. He's lonely at night time and that. See, people always thinking about what that guy's got or what that girl, that, that chick's got. I know, I know, I know a woman. Jealous of her friend because her friend's got a nice big house and her friend drives a nice Range Rover and that. But her friend is single. She's lonely. She has no children, blood. Like, as a woman, wouldn't you prefer to, okay, live in a smaller house, not drive a, a nice car, but you've got a couple of kids, two, three, four kids and that. Yeah? Your, sole your number one purpose on this planet is to fucking reproduce, yeah? So if you ain't doing that, you're kind of failing your ancestors and that. You're supposed to keep your bloodline going. Yeah, that individual that's got the nice house and a nice car, they're not doing what, what their purpose is, is, which is to reproduce blood. So stop watching what other people have got and watch what you do have, yeah?